All right, so so speak to the Hufflepuff in the astronomy wing. The closest is... Here, maybe? I supposed to do pardon me is everything all right no no it's not we only had two bells to go but she just had to go and spoil things i'm afraid i don't follow who spoiled things was it what bells <sighs> professor black ordered mr moon to take down the bells in the bell tower said they were giving him a headache those bells are a part of hogwarts i wasn't about to let that happen so i asked my friend adelaide to help me put them back We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline, Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history, we meant to be its stewards. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Okay. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. must be upstairs. Ah! Found them! I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps? Hmm... Rebellion. Okay, so there's one down here.
Revelio. There's one right here. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the sentry without protecting the snitches. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. There we go. Even if Black isn't. That one's pretty simple. Rebellion. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Okay. So now... Let's finally go do the Absconder mission. I find the rarest beasts in the forest. You're lucky if you find a rat. <laughs> I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Must be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Ow. 
Revelio. Rebellion. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Confringo! Rebellion! So this is the infamous Absconder. Alright. Thirty-five. This thing is at. Thank <laughs> you. 
no, 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 no. I don't know why for a second I thought I took it out for sure. Ow. Ow. Jesus. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. Rebellion.
wonder who lives here. Ah, uh, you look none the worse for wear. Oh, I take it you decided against it. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend, and I shall miss him. Please, uh, accept this reward for your trouble. I should be going now. Thank you. Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember. Mr. Adley, do you have a moment? For you? Always. You're a hero around here. What do you have for sale? A anything I can help you find? Ah, never mind replenishing my stocks. Pleasure doing business with you. Gotten so off on my lower level stuff. Ah, uh, thank you for stopping by. Golden Snoop Scarf. All right, now. Go here and talk to Maddie. If I'm safe to explore in there. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Let me actually... Alright, there you go. Then I got that one marked. And also there's also another mission available back at Hogwarts. I assume that's part of the story mission. Yeah, okay. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. 
we must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agapes Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time right. you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. So we're going to speak with Filbert, Rabe, and Dibble. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you'll consider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach the decision on your own, but you're beginning to lose our patience. And your husband would appreciate it if, it if you were to see the value of in our work together. Shall we express a response that we tend? Best kid is between us if you understand their meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Now it's needs Filbert and Dibble. Oh. 
Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't Can you, you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. All right. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Feel better. Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling. 
to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Okay. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Aloha, Mora. I'll pull on that. Let's unlock this little three door. Here it's all about. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. I was gonna say, what the? Revelio. He must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She hell? can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Ravelio! Down here, huh? Her footprints led to this room. She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. I've not find Agatha Silver's book poems and Otto Dibble's love letter. will be reckless enough. He wants them alive. Only a Hogwarts student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. <laughs> what? <clears throat>
That was close. He must be here somewhere. Revelio. I knew you would realize I had left my want for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what to do. I need your help. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be gone. Revelio. Mr. Rabe's wand could be in there. Where? Somewhere in this room, he says. Revelio.
Revelio Alohomora Mr. Frank's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Okay. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Revelio. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Yes, we found Filbert's item. I want to see if we can find uh, Dibble's love letter. Back here, just sat looking at one potion. Uh, there we go. It's like, what the hell? I'm stuck. There we go. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. She's right here with the fuck. Nuts I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. 
In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay. So our next mission is going to be on... Since we're here at Hogsmeade, we might as well do the, uh, the Tangled Web one. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs>